there are several hormones in the body that impact how many ingested calories are stored as body fat. If any of these hormones are out of balance, a person can gain weight even though they may eat less food. One hormone that exerts a significant effect on hunger and fat storage is insulin. Insulin is produced in the pancreas mainly in response to high levels of glucose or sugar in the blood. Insulin enables the liver to store excess blood sugar. Insulin also stimulates the liver to store fatty acids that are transported to fat cells and stored as fat. The net effect of insulin is storage of carbohydrate, protein, and fat in the body. A poor diet can induce the pancreas to secrete large amounts of insulin. Aging people also experience metabolic disorders that cause excess secretion of insulin. Eventually, the cells in the body become resistant to insulin by decreasing the number of functioning insulin receptors. As cells become insulin resistant, the body stabilizes blood sugar by producing higher levels of insulin. The effect of high insulin production is weight gain. The long-term result is often type 2 diabetes in which blood sugar levels become unstable even though insulin levels remain dangerously high. A novel approach to weight loss has been developed based on the established fact that overweight people have too much insulin in their blood. Insulin causes sugars and dietary fats to be converted to body fat. Excess insulin prevents stored fat from being released. Even when a person undergoes severe calorie restriction, such as in very low calorie diets or VLCDs. Suppressing excess insulin production is a crucial and often overlooked component of a fat loss program. The role of excess insulin in causing weight gain has been an accepted scientific fact for years. Building on this observation, some scientists have postulated that it is impossible for people to lose significant body fat as long as they have insulin overload. A noticeable effect of too much insulin in the blood, or hyperinsulinemia, is constant hunger, which results in a vicious cycle in which overeating causes more and more body fat to accumulate, which in turn causes even greater amounts of unwanted insulin to be secreted from the pancreas. Here is why insulin is called the death hormone. It starts with insulin resistance, which then leads to hyperinsulinemia, which is too much insulin in the blood. This then leads to obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, low HDL cholesterol or good cholesterol, atherosclerosis, hypertension, and chronic inflammation. The fact that 64.5% of Americans are overweight or obese is a dramatic testimony to the ineffectiveness of all existing weight loss treatments. On any given day of the year, at least half of these people are trying, earnestly trying, to lose weight. We now know that dieting, or eating less of something than you normally do, only results in short-term weight loss. Dieters typically lose lean tissue, and not body fat. As early as 1968, the Cecil Textbook of Medicine observed, elevation of fasting insulin is the difference between thin and obese individuals. Because insulin blocks the release of fat from storage, most people will not lose stored body fat by lowering food intake as long as any insulin is present in the blood. There are over 25 million diabetics in the U.S. and 6 million remain undiagnosed. There are also an additional 41 million patients with insulin resistance. If you're overweight or obese, it's most likely that insulin resistance is the cause. At medical weight loss centers, we understand that obesity is a symptom of a chronic medical illness caused by abnormal body chemistry. We offer the best medical treatment ever devised for reducing weight under medical supervision. From your initial visit, we will evaluate your blood sugar and insulin levels and correct your body chemistry for maximum weight loss potential.